What's up, Cedar Park, and happy Dia de los Muertos. First up, meet the new host of Sponsor, hear all about band's results from BOA Waco. Learn about Film Club in an all-new Live Wins News. Plus, we're bringing back Cooking with Claire with Ethan, but this time with Reese and Kira. Stay tuned because the Wolfcast starts now. Good morning, Cedar Park, and welcome back. I'm Jack Paulstrick, and I'm here this morning with Reagan Hill and Katie Whitmarsh. Today marks a traditionally Mexican holiday to remember loved ones that have passed away. Families remember and celebrate those they love with offeretas, also known as offerings. You know, honestly, I think it's amazing that what this holiday does. And our teacher, Garcia, just showed us this, like, video of was the kids for Uvalde, Uvalde mm -hmm. right? And it was just desks, all these desks was just people all these like offerings on the desks of all these children yeah. and it was yeah. it's, it's super beautiful. cute it's, i think it's such a cute little holiday and then we're talking about coco yeah and, right um, which i have never watched i've never listened watched to either. the soundtrack it's a great movie you how have you not seen it it's a great movie i don't like watch tv tv i don't watch tv it's a movie <laughs> well it's a movie <laughs> on the tv well you could watch in the theater anyway too i guess i need to, to watch coco <laughs> This year is a new era for Cedar Park's HOSA Health Program, with new teacher Amy Buffington taking the reins. HOSA is a UIL competition based on medical careers a high school student may be interested in. The events include healthcare display, medical debate, medical math, and many others. Her replacement, Ms. Buffington, tells, her, tells us what experience she's filling in this year. Uh, it's a lot of work. <laughs> Just learning, because I'm new, so just learning all the ins and outs, and me and Ms. Spinelli have a great team, though. I love working with her. The band performed at one of their last performances this season at Bands of America Waco this past weekend and placed first. Last year was the first time CPHS band has ever placed first in the Bands of America Waco competition. Right off the bat, they came in first place with their performance, I See. This year, their hopes were high with a show made to win the competition. Um, this year's performance has actually been really, really good. Uh, the band has been doing a lot better as mu musicians and performers just in general and I really feel like our skill sets and our perspectives and our expectations for each other have really gone up this season. With their show being called Mirror Mirror, they can sure hope to reflect their hard work this week at BOA San Antonio with their final performance of the season. Are you passionate about creating films? Well, CPHS's very own film club is just for you. Sponsored by Miss Iskra, film club students gather together and help each other come up with movie ideas, work on scripts, and put together film projects. The club's most recent project began at Milburn Park, where they began pitching ideas and filming scenes. Students with a past passion for film will benefit greatly from this club. Club president Cara Allen explains why the why what the club likes to do and her favorite. Film part. club is a club where we basically learn about the behind the scenes of filmmaking so for the most part we've been focused on writing but we've also delved a little bit into other aspects like shots and editing that kind of stuff I really like learning more about just the processes it takes for filmmaking and like it's it's a good chance to meet other people who are interested in the same things film club meets every Friday in room 1215 Coming up next, the top three things you need to know this morning, but first, these announcements. This is CPHS Cheer, and you're watching the Wolfcast. Good morning, Cedar Park. I'm Kaysen Johnson with the top three things you need to know for today. First, NASA has spotted an interesting pattern on the sun the night of Halloween. It can be described as a smiling face, or even a giant space jack-o'-lantern. These black spots on the sun are also known as spots where the solar winds are flowing out into space. Next, Kentucky, the story of how a man rescued four puppies from a creek single-handedly. These puppies were abandoned and dumped into the creek by their ano anonymous owner. The man who saved them spotted the pups on his way home from work and turned them into his local animal shelter. 
And finally, increasing reports of car thefts are being reported in Georgetown. Georgetown police are initializing a movement known as Lock It Down Georgetown to spread awareness of these thefts and how to avoid them. They explain that leaving valuables in sight will allow for a more likely break-in. And those are your top three things, so how do we feel? My like literal second day of school here, our car got broken into, and um, they stole like a check and um, like a pair of like my dad's sunglasses. You left a check. Oh, sunglasses. Would, uh, why would you leave a check in your car? Yeah. Well, it was um, I don't know actually. It was my mom, so ask Jenny. But yeah, and then we got it like on because we have like a door camera or like a garage, and so we got them on video. Still don't know who it was, but. I lost a hundred dollars that my grandma. I guess my, it was a check my grandma gave me oh. that was supposed to be deposited. I, I don't even think I would steal a check if it said like. I guess I wouldn't say grandma, right? But like. What? No. Love <laughs> grandma at the bottom. <laughs> yeah. Then I would feel really bad. Then I would feel terrible. <laughs> oh even man. If I was like, yeah. All right, thanks, case. And now it's time for some lie witness news. Welcome back to. Hey, welcome back to Live Witness News, November edition. I missed the month. It's okay. It's okay. Get over it. It's fine. It was filmed late October, so it's kind of October. It's fine. It'll be okay. We're good. We're going to go in there. We're going to ruin your lunch again because you guys don't have anything better to do. We I don't have anything better to do. Let's get started. Oh, wait. Hold on. <laughs> See, I did the, I did the snap. Okay, I did the snap. Okay, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Are you taking dolphin uh, dolphin riding lessons? What? Are you taking dolphin riding lessons? Uh, no, not no, I'm not. What's the most points you've scored on the back of a dolphin? None. Is that an actual thing? Uh, yeah. When did it become a thing? You guys think Ohio is real? No. What's, What's Ohio? That? Have you ever met someone from Ohio? No. Yeah, it was a unicorn. Do you think that Ohio is real? Yes, I think so. Right? I think you come from like another dimension. Isn't it one of the states in the middle of the United States? It's not a state. It's not real. All right, thank you. You're right. What do you think about Applebee's sponsoring the cafeteria for the next, like, six weeks? 100%, I agree. You like Applebee's? I've only been once. You like, But you like Applebee's? Yeah. Do you hear yourself? It reminds me of the song. You like Applebee's on a day Can you sing the song? Uh, no. Did you, did you cheat on the PSAT? No. Why not? Because... It's academically wrong. I don't know. It's <laughs> I'm not going to cheat on PSAT. All right. Facts. Thank you. Thanks for watching this edition of Live Witness News. And if you want me to go to your friends and ask some questions, then you can comment them down below. Really easy, real simple. All you got to do is take your fingers, put them on the keyboard, and just press a few different buttons to make a word. And then I can read it with my eyeballs. So, thank you. Back to the desk. I got this elevator uh, installed yesterday. I really want to use it. So, Boop, 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 boop. Now let's see how well reporters Reese and Kira can handle the stress of the kitchen with this year's first episode of Cooking with Reese and Kira. Hello and welcome back to the first episode of the year of Cooking with Claire with Ethan with Reese, except this time we're calling it Cooking with Reese and Kira because that other name was too long. Mm -hmm. So today we are making apple pie. pie. Do you have two spoons? Two spoons? Is he? Like tablespoons, whatever. I drank food. How much sugar? Okay. How many tablespoons are in a teaspoon? One teaspoon is zero point three and a half. Which is pouring too much salt. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Give me the mixy thing. Maybe we can wash our hands. What? Maybe we can wash our hands. You should be confessing. It's a cleanse. 
Seven tablespoons. Oh, Six and a half hours later. Should I get three apples or four? You, you got, got three, three. I told you to get four. But I thought I put the fourth one in. I wonder how cinnamon tastes raw. You should taste that, Darius. Mm. It's bland. Here, I swear! <laughs> Wait, no more flour here. <laughs> What the? It smells really good. <laughs> there better be a sneeze counter in this. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna be brand old time with this pretzel. It's a good. I'm not so good. Would you like to try? I would love to try. Hi guys, guys, we're back. The pie is made, it's been cooled. Do you have a, let me do this. I'm cutting it. Okay, I'm actually not gonna mess around with the knife. Okay, so it looks much better in the pan. Yeah, then it does on the plate. Let's see a second. Three, two, one. Oh, that's kind of good. That are really good. There we go. How would I rate it? Well, let's see. There's so much left on my plate, you can tell it was horrible. On a scale of 1 to 10, I would rate it a 10 plus. So well, that's all we have for you today. Back to the anchors. Bye. That's all we have for you today. Make sure you're keeping up with all of our content, so head over to our YouTube channel at CPHS News. You can also follow at CPHS underscore sports for updates during games. Catch tomorrow's show for an in-depth look into all the candidates running for the school board, as well as prepare for election day for behind the ballot. Thanks for taking the time to join us this morning. With CBHS News, I'm Katie Whitmarsh. I'm Reagan Hill. And I'm Jack Paulshuk. Remember to make it a great deal or not, the choice is yours.